Portland, there's a lot of weird fucking people in Portland, I'll tell you that. There's a guy up in the middle of the street blowing a whistle, waving cars around. Just blowing a whistle in the middle of the fucking street like a fucking lunatic. That's a true story, I swear to God. Right out there, he's wearing like a blue thing and a gun. And I, I don't know. <laughs> something we just decided to create to have a festival in in and of Portland. What makes Portland the best place for it and why Bridgetown is so great is just because of the location of it. And everything is like relatively close. There's some theaters that are out, but it's kind of a close-knit community. It's well attended. Um, there's amazing food and amazing coffee and amazing people. Great biking if you want to bike, like everything about it. So you get Portland plus an awesome comedy festival. Well, I was friends with Andy Wood, the president of the festival, he reminds me. He said next year he's going to have blue blazers made. You think this is going to make it into the documentary? That's how you know it will. Once you comment, will it, it always makes it in. I'm positive. There's no fucking way they're not putting this in. That's why people are laughing in the theater. Thanks a lot, you dumb fuck. Thanks a lot. You, you drive by when they're gonna use some footage. It's really funny how big it's gotten now. It's just you're aware of comedy around in the Northwest, and that's probably the most important thing about a festival, is just making people think like, oh yeah, comedy, that's a thing that I can have fun with. You just go to Portland. That's where the scene, that's where comedy now happens, is Portland. They have this festival and there's no, producers or directors or managers. There's not like an emphasis on like industry or it's just it, it seems like comics really coming to have fun and do comedy and you know just it, it's like summer camp for yeah. comics. It's exactly you know? like summer camp for comics. Bridgetown is your like reward yourself festival. It's like it's like as opposed to a professional conference in business Bridgetown is like the is like the retreat? trust fall retreat. My favorite part about the whole festival are the audiences. Yes. The fans are amazing. It reminds me of when I would do the this place called Charlie Goodnights back in the early 90s. Charlie Goodnights in the 90s and also the Ice House in Pasadena were these two rooms that no other club if you were submitting a tape to get work they would not look at a tape of you from those clubs because it was an unrealistic view of how you were because the crowds were so amazing. We experience what's called uh, post Portland blues when we go back to Los Angeles. <laughs> Everyone, you get so hyped up and all the all the audiences are so great and they're so supportive and you go back to Los Angeles and you do that first show after the festival when you get and back like, on Tuesday it's not as and good. it's not as good and you, you're like, yeah, I was ready to fucking rock! And you do your first joke and it's just flat lines. I treat Portland as this is a spa for comedians. This is actually not how it is. Don't get used to this. That should be that should be the uh, slogan for Bridgetown for comedians. Don't get used to this. Enjoy the days here, but just know that you're gonna go back and it's gonna be a little bit of work. If this is just a great town for like, let's go do something fun today. You know, there's just so many strip clubs. <laughs> <laughs> I did a show here once at the Eagles Lodge and uh, got heckled by the security guard that was supposed to be here to keep everything under control. And an old man would, had a remote control helicopter during his set, and he just abandoned his set. He's like, this is going on? Well, I'll talk about this. And the old man was just like, whatever. Like, this is my life. Like, didn't give a crap that a show was going on. This helicopter just meh, like, as he's talking. And no one was like, hey, you should stop it with that remote control helicopter. We were just like, it, I think the bouncer was literally like, what's going on? Portland? Great. Portland's pretty awesome. Uh, you know, there's a rep there's a reason it has a reputation that it does. You know, uh, you know, like people watch Portlandia and go, "Ha ha, hippies," and uh, but 
it's it's much more than that just hippies is actually so much like the show in the sense that yes there's hippies but they're super funny and they're nice and they like to ride their bikes and it's a really cool place to to come and hang out I'm just doing sets and seeing and playing the game of trying not to get too inebriated before sets and seeing if you win and see how many people lose that game a lot of people lose it was one of the first places i ever did on the road one of my movie interruptions where we just watch a movie and I sit with some other comedians in the front row and we just make jokes the whole time. And we showed, uh, we showed Con Air and I was way too high. How's the weed? The weed might be strong considering I had a half a hit three hours ago and I haven't shut the fuck up since. I like that you don't skimp on drifters here. It's a very drifter friendly town, which is gr great for me. Because I feel like no matter what happens to me, here I could kind of like, m I can make it work, you know? Every time I step off the plane, I just immediately walk into like, oh, this is, this is, the, I feel beautiful. I feel like everybody here looks like me. I feel like I'm not even wearing enough jean jackets. It's great. I'm 